YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So as you guys probably saw from the thumbnail of today's video, I'll be talking a little bit about the balancing of your life and stuff like that. And I feel like as a law school student, as a content creator, I have a lot of things and a huge demand on everything that I need to be doing day to day. So I feel like I might be able to have some tips that might be beneficial for you guys uh, in your life if you're having struggle with balancing uh, whatever you got going on. So that's gonna be uh, the theme of today's video. Uh, I should be working out. As you guys know, I do have my final this week. So if I if I posted this video, that means I've like, so my plan was what I was gonna do, like I know like I'm gonna be studying during the day, but I was like, if I just edit certain like segments of today's video, like at night before I go to bed, then I should be able to put out a video um, on Monday, the exam is on Wednesday. So if you guys are seeing this right now, I was successfully able to balance uh, both of those. So, uh, so I'm not gonna talk to you guys head off, let's get right into today's video. I think we're gonna go in to a workout. So one of the first things that I'm gonna talk about right now for the theme of the video of balancing your life is something that I literally had to personally learn as I started to adjust with school, posting content and stuff like that is, bro, you can't balance all the time. Sometimes the demand of something is gonna be so high that you have to devote all of your time to that thing. Like, so I kinda trip myself up mentally a little bit of telling myself like, I still wanna apply myself in the way that I want to with social media and then also law school. Um, and those are, they're extremely demanding, both of them, you know what I mean? And I, I have passions for both, but at sometimes like you just can't do that because like if you put yourself in this position that I, I'm telling you that I did, um, and you think, and you tell yourself like, oh, I'm going to apply myself to this one thing, but you have in the back of your mind that you still have all this other stuff that you're supposed to do, then you're going to start to convince yourself that, oh, I'm not doing enough. I didn't do all the things that I was supposed to. I put so much time into this and then I still have X, Y, and Z to do too after this. You just can't do that. You have to, I think the, the, the rule statement is just the first, the first thing you guys should know is just, you can't balance all the time. Sometimes you're gonna have to just focus on one thing and figure other things out later. Like that is something that I really had to teach myself that I struggle with because I'm somebody that tries to do so much, so many things at once, like getting myself in the mental of just being like, I can only do this one thing for now and I have to figure everything else out was extremely hard to do and even is now. It's like, I still struggle sometimes with being like, oh, I, I should be doing more. I'm not doing all the things that I want to. But yeah, that is gonna be the first tip that I tell you guys about is just be okay with focusing on one thing if you have to and you'll figure everything else out uh, after the fact, so. And to the reason that I wanted to put this video on balancing is like a lot of it has to do with my life. A lot of the things that I talk about um, that I come on YouTube or Snapchat or whatever that I'm talking like stuff of this theme of, of just life a lot of it applies directly towards me and I talk about things that I've had to learn things that I've suffered with so I felt like balance was something that I was I was really struggling with and I wasn't open about it with you guys of just being like I feel like I'm stretched too thin I have so much going on I feel like I'm not succeeding in the things that I want to do so I felt like I needed to take the time and just sit down and be like okay like what have I learned in my process of learning how to balance and stuff like that. And I know some of you probably have a similar issue of just feeling like you have so much to do and you don't have the time to focus on one thing or you're, or you're not focusing on any of them because you're trying to do all of them at the same time. Um, that's why this is so important to me because I think balance is something like, again, everything goes beyond the gym. I think balance is something that you can have a balance in your diet, you have a balance in your mentality or whatever you're doing. Like everything is within moderation, everything has balance and for you to be able to master that balance and for me to offer any types of information of what I've learned to help you guys, that's a W. So, not gonna talk your head off like I said, although I kinda am. Uh, let's get into today's video. I'll probably go to a workout, but I don't know. I'm shooting this day to day, so I don't know what scene's gonna be next, but you will, let's go to it. So, it is Saturday now. Um, I forgot when I was recording, but it's time to go to the gym, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. I have not been to the gym in like four days, bro. But because I was studying, I had the fast and stuff like that, so it's what it is. Like I said, sometimes you just don't have time to do everything. So, we're about to go to the workout. I think I'm gonna do like back and chest, bro, because like, just because I haven't worked out in a minute. I'm also right here, what I'm trying is the Alpha Line 2-in-1 pre-workout fat burner right here. I've never tried this before. I've always had like their pre-workout, but 
We'll see how this one goes today too. So I, I honestly need it. See the liquid fat burner? This is what I usually take. So when I was like doing like pretty much, when I was really cutting bro, like doing cardio every single day, I would take this in the morning before cardio. And then I would take that in addition to like, uh, like some pump, which is just like a pre-workout, but it doesn't have caffeine. Neither does that uh, liquid fat burner either. It has no caffeine in either of them. So those are perfect for the morning. So I'm gonna get this ready. And then I'm gonna have my little rice cakes. Y'all know what I'm getting into. And then from there, we're gonna go to the gym. Let's get it. too close holy all right so that was pretty much the workout just something light bro honestly we did like a little like else so we did a little bit of chest a little bit of back but like nothing too crazy um so now i'm about to head back into the law school and we gotta study for literally the rest of the day i'll probably show you all a little bit like i was thinking bro i'm like obviously i'm studying all day so i'm like what am i supposed to do but i might show you all a little bit of like what i'm studying and stuff like that i don't know we'll see man I'm your boss. I'm yeah. like, bro, come to if it's If it's a boss, and let's say you say, I'm gonna fire you. I'm gonna fire you if you don't sign this contract. Unless you don't sign this contract, uh, giving me your house. Yeah. You gotta let me sleep in your, you gotta let me sleep in your bed. You, you gotta <laughs> sign this contract to let me, sign this contract, let me sleep with your wife. <laughs> or, or I'm gonna fire you. Or I'm gonna fire you. Or I'm gonna fire you. Undue influence? That would be undue influence because okay. the relationship is sufficient enough. Right. I think there's there's a there's like a level. Yeah, it's like a hierarchy. A, it has to yeah. Be, yeah. That's it has what to I, be like a profound relationship. It can't right. just be like a friend. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted you to see that like I'm just your homie versus like oh that's yeah, my boss. It has to be like a profound. Because he'll test he'll test that bro. It'd be like it's just your friend. So let's get ready to wrap up this video. So if you guys are seeing this video today, uh, I'm one day out from my test. If you're seeing this on Tuesday, uh, no, I did that wrong. If you're seeing this today, I am two days out, including today. If you're seeing this on Tuesday, I'm one day out. If you're seeing this right now on Wednesday around like 10 o'clock in the morning, I am in the final. So everyone, you know, it's also not for your boy. But uh, to finish up the video, I'd just like to talk about balance one more time. I think the first thing that I want to talk about is like, Kind of what I started the video with that I, I really learned like in my process of just balance, bro, sometimes you can't balance. Like sometimes, and this goes both ways, like sometimes something requires just all of your time. Like if you have this envision that you see yourself at a certain position in the future and like you you can kind of estimate how much work that's going to be, bro, then you there is no balance. Like to do something that's like not common or to do something that's not easy to do, you just can't have so many different things on your plate. You need to devote almost all of your time to that. For examples of that, like when I was trying to lose weight and I was trying to do social media, like I devoted pretty much all of my time to that. What I was eating, making videos, like uh, trying to be the best creator that I could be, trying to make sure that I'm working out, being healthy, uh, you know, all the things that go into that. But then this, when I flipped it um, with this studying for this exam, honestly, has told me like, I love social media, but like sometimes my priorities are gonna shift where like I can't be that person that can multitask. I have to be a person that has to devote myself all to one thing. And I know for people that are watching this right now that are like me and like believe that you could do A, B, and C at the same time. And when you can't do them, you start to tell yourself like, oh, like I messed up, I'm not doing all the things that I'm supposed to. Don't do that. Uh, because sometimes, man, you're really just gonna have to devote yourself to one thing. Like I've had to devote all of my time to studying for this test that's on Wednesday, and I've been studying since last Monday. Alexa, shut up. I'm literally shooting a video. Are you serious? 
the nerve. Um, <laughs> but yeah, bro, it's just like, you need to devote all of your time to that. Like, and there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't make you like seem like you're not doing enough or whatever it may be. Just some things you're, you, it, that demand is so high. And I think that may fall into like the priorities, right? Of like, sometimes you need to understand the hierarchy of priorities that you have in your life as well. You shouldn't be balancing something that has a low priority in your life with something that is super meaningful. Like I think sometimes people make that mistake of feeling like if you're trying to do everything, it's like, nah, bro, like some things you just shouldn't be doing or you shouldn't be devoting a significant amount of time to. So that's probably the one of the, uh, the main takeaways that I want to tell you guys. Um, and the second, man, and I guess this deals with more like time management, uh, is something that I had to do a lot this week as well. Like I told you guys, like I've been making this YouTube video uh, at night after I came home from the library every single day because I wanted to show you like, yeah, I have this humongous final, but like, look, if you if you can delegate your time correctly and you do all of the things you're supposed to, then you can still live the life or do whatever activities that you want. But it's just, it's super important, bro. You have to understand how you can manage your time and like, don't just something that has helped me this week is not just saying like, oh, like I want to do uh, this, this and this today. It's like, no, like I made a schedule every single day when I woke up this morning, like from 10 to four, I want to be studying. And then from five to six, I'll take a break, but I'll review. And then when I get home at 11 o'clock, I'll make this scene of the YouTube video. Um, so all of that type of stuff goes into the play, bro, of like, you know, balance and time management. But yeah, I guess that's, those are like really, really the biggest things that like I have that comes to mind. Uh, I'm about to cook breakfast and then I'm going to literally go back to the library all day today and study again. So like I said, if you're seeing this on Wednesday at around 10, man, throw one up for your boys, man. I'm happy I was still able to get a video out to you guys. Um, hopefully the video was a W. If it's a little short, I apologize. Um, but yeah, after this, I'm done classes. I have almost summer break, so we'll be able to start doing like some more fun things. You guys just won't see me in my room or random little B-rolls of me studying or whatever. So again, hope the video was a W, man. Much love as always. Thank you guys for always showing love to the channel and I'll catch you guys next week.